Uh, hello, my dearest confidant. So we're talking about emotional healing, blah, 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 et cetera, et cetera, right? Um, I have been, since I've been posting more, I've been getting, I don't know if they're bots. I don't know if they're just people that want to cause, you know, strife and concern. Um, it, you know, if the universe is trying to heal me from this for sure. Um, but I've gotten some negative comments and some personal attacks um, on some of the other things that some of the other videos that I've done. One of them that causes a lot of frustration is this book right here because people that use the Bible as their sole source of uh, spiritual um, knowledge tend to find this book very offensive. And I wanted to go over some of the things that uh, this book reminded me of the reason why I picked it up in the first place and I will tell you that I picked this book up in the first the very first time I was very scared to pick this book up but at the time the Bible and I refer to Christianity in the Bible just because that's what I grew up knowing not because I specifically am targeting Christians let me make that extremely clear here I am not targeting anyone I am simply making examples off of what I have experienced. So please do not think that this is a personal attack to any Christian or Christian organization. But what I will say is that when I was going to church, there was a lot of things that were unanswered. There was a lot of hypocrisy that I found within the Old Testament and the New Testament and people indiscriminately, you know, applying both when the book specifically says, hey, the old has fallen away and we're only following the new, blah, blah, blah. Anyways, um, so I, I originally picked this book up because I was like, I need something else. I need a different perspective. I need to understand things differently. And I think that this book really was instrumental in my life because it really forced me to think for myself right to to really delve into myself and so this book specifically in the very beginning says hey this book's not for everybody it's not meant to start cults it's it's meant basically for you to find your inner teacher that's what this book is for the people that wrote the book are not important the message is what's important and i agree like anytime you learn anything right you want to learn it because it the message is important not because of the sender right obviously we are influenced by some more than others but Anyways, so yesterday I decided to pick this book back up again. And the one that I got is the combined volume. And so it has all three books in one. It has the work, it has the, the book, and then it has the workbook for students, and then it has the manual for teachers in it. And so I flipped to the um, workbook for students. And, uh, you know, there's a whole bunch of lessons that you should apply every day. And one of the ones that I think is important here was the very first and the second lesson because it helps with you retraining your brain, um, you know, emotionally. We, we feel a lot of things emotionally within us, right? And so uh, the first lesson is to look at, you know, random things in the room or area that you're in and say, this has no meaning, this has no meaning, this has no meaning, this has no meaning, right? And the second lesson, the second day's lesson is I have assigned the meaning to this item. I have assigned the meaning to this body. I have assigned the meaning to this. And the whole point of the exercises is to remind you that you have learned how to treat and value this item, person, place, thing based on your personal experiences and based on what your primary caregivers when you were small instilled in you that was important. And the most profound thing about the lessons is that you have the ability to change the meaning. If it means nothing and we assign the meaning, we have the ability to change what it means to us. And so I'm not recommending that you read this book. I will say that it has had an extremely profound impact on my life. And I'm remembering what that impact was. And it means even more to me now because I've gotten more away from the uh, closed mindedness of some people that are religious. And it's reminded me that this whole lifetime, God, creator, universe, source, however you want to refer to them, they want us to experience emotions and, and, and feelings and connections and disconnections and, uh, you know, natural things and purpose and all of that is meant to be such a fulfilling and rewarding experience. And when we close ourselves off and we just go with what we know, we miss out on the greater beauty. And 
I don't want to be closed minded and I don't want to treat anyone that way anymore. And so I'm extremely grateful that even though the lessons over the last few months um, and year really because I put this review up on books that have impacted me on my YouTube page oh, a year ago, I don't know, and I'm still getting negative comments about it. And I'm not trying to make anyone go to hell if that's what they believe in. I'm not trying to, you know, I'm saying, hey, this book, it, it says the foundation for inner peace. Like, that's what I'm striving for. And amidst the chaos of this world and, uh, you know, the things that we've learned. And there's a lot of unlearning going on on a global perspective right now. And I am absolutely grateful and humbled to be a part of that, not to be closed minded, not to be, you know, shut down by the norms of the culture and society that I live in. So um, this video is a little longer than what I normally do. I got on my soapbox a little bit, but I think that, you know, just being open minded to the different possibilities that can exist within your reality, even if you've always only looked at something one way your entire life, just changing something simple as the meaning of something is so profound and so powerful. And so um, I consider that, I suggest that you consider doing that in your life. I love you, my dearest confidant. Until next time.